Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I am back with another Modern Warfare video and welcome to the new Halloween event. I know guys, I am very late with this video and I apologize for that. I've been pretty busy with school, specifically homework like I always say this week, but there is no way that I am about to miss out on this event. In fact, I'm pretty late that I missed out on the BR Nighttime Trios, which I really hope that Infinity Ward adds that mode back at least once because because I didn't get a chance to experience that and I really wanted to. A quick overview of the new playlist and renamed playlist to match the Halloween theme. We have Plunder Candy Collector, which is the same as Plunder, but you're also going to be collecting candy along with cash. VR Solo Survivor, which is solos, but you are going to be in the dark. So it's nighttime solos and that's what I wish we still had for trios. We have Zombie Royale, which that is going to be an interesting one to play. And Juggernaut Royale, which is Juggernaut Royale, but instead of just being in a Juggernaut suit, you're going to have a pumpkin head, and if you get a lot of kills, I guess you will be a pumpkin lit on fire, and <laughs> it looks pretty cool. For multiplayer, many modes were also renamed. We have White Noise, Damnation, Headstone Quarters, Chills Confirmed, and my favorite one, my mom chose my costume, which <laughs> this one's funny, and this is Gun Game, by the way. We have Gunfight, which is Gunfight, but the maps are decorated with Halloween decorations, if I'm not mistaken, and Haunted House Party, which is Mosh Pit game modes with a Halloween spin, kind of the same thing as Gunfray, and Onslaughter, which is kind of like Juggernaut Royale, but instead it is on multiplayer. If I'm not mistaken, I think we had a couple more modes and playlists, but since I missed out on them and got on pretty late, I unfortunately am not able to play or see them, so <laughs> yeah, tough luck for me guys. Anyways, normally I showcase all new tiers and rewards for each new battle pass for each new season, but this time around, we got a new Halloween event and we got 16 new rewards that you can obtain and once you obtain all 16 of them you will get an exclusive blueprint. So what are we gonna do? That's right, we are gonna be going through all 16 new rewards that you can obtain and the exclusive blueprint that you can unlock for obtaining these rewards. By the way, in order to obtain these rewards you have to find and open special Halloween crates that are located on the location that is marked on the map for example. For the first reward, we have Spooky Scene, which is an epic calling card, and this can be found in a Halloween crate located in Storage Town. So, pretty much anywhere in that location, but once you find it, it is very possible that you'll get this reward or a jump scare. For the second reward, we have Jack-O-Lantern, which is an epic charm, and this can be found in Boneyard. For the third reward, we have Corpse, which is an epic spray, and this can be found in Superstore, and wow, this is going to be a challenging one. <laughs> For the fourth reward, we have Time of the Season, which is a legendary watch, and let's see, ooh, this looks pretty sick, I like that, reminds me of that one watch that is in the Season 6 Battle Pass, this can be found at Dam. For the fifth reward, we have Low Demon, which is an epic charm, this can be found at the Hills. For the sixth reward, we have the Joker, which is an epic sticker, and this can be found at the airport. For the seventh reward, we have the Woodsman, which is an epic spray, and this can be found on the train. For the 8th reward, we have Return to Dust, which is an epic blueprint for the Olden, and ooh, check that out. This can be found at the military base. For the 9th reward, we have Pumpkin Pearl, which is an epic Conley card that can be found at the hospital. For the 10th reward, we have Oak, which is an epic spray, and hold up, this looks okay. For a second, I thought this was the same, but they look very similar. Uh, this can be found at the TV station. For the 11th reward, we have Chainsaw Find, and this is an epic spray, which can be found at downtown. For the 12th reward, we have Flashy Fate, which is an epic sticker, and this can be found at Quarry. For the 13th reward, we have Killing Moon, which is an epic emblem, and this can be found at Stadium. For the 14th reward, we have Goalish Gift, which is an epic emblem that can be found at Port. For the 15th reward, we have Scary Patch, which is an epic emblem that can be found at Lumberyard. And for the 16th reward, we have the Cleaver, which is a legendary blueprint for the combat knife that can be found at the Gulag. Finally, if you're able to collect all 16 of these rewards, you will be rewarded with the Pumpkin Punisher blueprint for the Growl 5.56. And this is a legendary blueprint, so yeah, take a look at this, guys. <laughs> This is pretty sick, man. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And there you guys have it. Those are all 16 new rewards that we got for the new Halloween event. Although most of these items are just stickers, calling cards, sprays, and emblems, I still think that they're pretty good, especially this watch right here. 
the Odin blueprint and this hatchet blueprint for the combat knife. All of these are looking pretty sick. Not only that, but I also enjoy the objective you have to do in order to unlock these items for the exclusive blueprint. Instead of just ranking up tiers, you have to locate these items in game. The last things I want to showcase are the three new Halloween bundles we got. So we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre bundle, the Saw bundle, and the Dr. Karloff Lives bundle. And as you guys can see, we got some pretty good items in each of these bundles. I mean, look at that. I'm definitely going to be copying one of these. I don't know which one just yet, but it's impressive knowing that Mono Warfare actually took this route. I thought for a second that we were never going to see fun items like this because, oh yeah, the game is going to be 100% realistic, but no, I'm glad that we actually got these items. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I just wanted to showcase the new Halloween event, which again, I'm pretty late with this video, but like I said, I'm definitely not about to miss out on this event. We got a good amount of new items that I for sure want to collect before it ends. Even if they're just stakers, emblems, calling cards, charms, and all that kind of stuff, I don't care. I still want to get them. And by the way, now that I said before this event ends, we have approximately 10 days, 8 hours, and 19 minutes left in this event as of recording this video. And since it's Friday as of recording this video, I am for sure going to be going crazy today and trying to collect as many items as I can. Maybe even complete it once and for all. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every so until the right upload. We are super close to hitting 600 subscribers. Less than 25 subs away. And my goodness, I cannot thank you guys enough. <laughs> this may be a record for me hitting another 100 subscribers in less than 5 months. So again, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the new Halloween event. And I hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and collect all 16 of these new items to get that exclusive blueprint. Maybe make a video on that if I have time. And I'm out. Peace.